Hey guys, we're back for another video, and today I have a Hypixel Skyblock tutorial. And actually, it's more of a Minecraft tutorial, like, as a whole, but it applies more so to Skyblock because of just how many enchantments are in the game. So, today's topic is going to be how to fix a book that has too many anvil uses on it in order to get cheaper enchants, and this is how you have people that get one anvil use swords this one's two because uh what in singularity with every single enchantment on it i also have if you look in this here a one anvil use raider's axe with every single enchantment in the game people like to have a one anvil use weapon because it basically means that it's future proof It'll be cheap to upgrade in the future if any new enchantments come out or if you acquire any level 6 enchants. I have a little trick that I discovered that's just a, a base part of Minecraft and it allows you to reset the anvil uses on a book and it's pretty dang cool. Now before I get into the nitty gritty of this, uh, you need to have a certain mod installed to even see anvil uses on a weapon and that mod is Skyblock add-ons. It's extremely useful, it adds things such as fast crafting grids, full inventory notices, it tells you when a minion's full, it prevents you from dropping valuables on the ground. It does a whole bunch of stuff that really you should be using in Skyblock, so I would highly recommend you go and download it for Forge or Badline Client, both options are free, and it just takes a little bit of setup, and once you have it installed, you should be able to see the anvil uses on every weapon you have. Again, Rapid Rune on Spell, one anvil use on it. With that out of the way, let me demonstrate why anvil uses matter. So, as you can see, I have a wooden sword with no anvil uses on it, and two experience books. Experience 3 and Experience 2. As you can see, the Experience 2 doesn't have anvil uses on it because I just crafted it. But if you go to the Experience 3 book, you will notice four anvil uses. I did this by taking a bunch of Experience 2 books and just enchanting them over and over again, wasting levels, just so I can make this example crappy book. I figured it'd be an easier comparison to have the same type of enchantment. So if we go into the enchantment table, experience 3, 4 anvil uses, it will cost 55 levels to add this to the sword. Now this is kind of ridiculous because, again, it's only one book, but you know, it's got 4 anvil uses on it. So most 4 anvil use books would be a bunch of combined ones, like maybe 4 or 5 enchants on it. But anyway, yeah, so in order to fix this, what you can do is take the expensive book, put it on the right side, and have a lesser version or equivalent of that book, or at least one of the enchants on that book, put it on the left side. As you can see, zero anvil uses. It will cost the same, so you are going to need to spend the levels, but the benefit here is that when you spend the levels, you reset the anvil uses on the book. So let me go quickly get 55 levels. And instead of adding the four anvil use book to the sword for 55 levels, I'm going to combine it with a book that will have no effect on the enchantment itself. As you can see, it's still experience three. But when I combine the experience two book on the left with zero anvil uses with the experience three book with four anvil uses on the right, you end up with an experience three book with one anvil use now if i then take this and try to combine it again it only costs 13 levels so that's cool i fixed the book i made it so that you can add it to a sword for a reasonable price but it costs a ton of xp so why is this useful exactly when you're trying to max out a sword these are all the enchantments you're going to want cubism sharpness looting scavenger experience thunderlord Ender Slayer, Execute, First Strike, Giant Killer, Life Steal, Vampirism, Luck, Impaling, Critical, Lethality, and the most controversial, Venomous. They recently fixed this one, but it does actually slow down the walk speed of enemies and it no longer causes uh, invulnerability ticks, so still worth it. Anyways, if you combine, let's say, these two books, then these two books, you're gonna have two anvil uses, two anvil uses, combine them again, three anvil uses, and then let's say you did that again, right? You combine these four, you combine these four, that will make for a four anvil use book. 
and this would start to cost almost 100 levels to add to a weapon now the problem is you can't then take let's say another eight enchantments and combine them together to make a five anvil use book because once you do that it will cost like 180 levels just to add it to a weapon so i guess i forgot to mention the other part of enchantment books is that you actually not only do anvil uses affect how expensive it is but the number of enchantments affected as well so if you want the maximum efficiency and levels you have to craft the books yourself and not use an enchantment table and get a whole bunch of junk enchantments like you know protection or efficiency because that's just going to make it even more pricey so i'd recommend uh, getting your hands on all the crafting recipes for every book, which is what I did. So let me demonstrate making a book that will have that will result in a one anvil use weapon. So while I'm here, I'd like to specify. So basically, the way the trick works is that Minecraft will calculate anvil uses based on the book or tool on the left side. So combining a four anvil use book with a one anvil use book will result in either a two anvil use book or a five anvil use book. For example, if I put the four anvil use book on the left and then add an enchant to it, that makes it five, which is bad because you just made it more expensive to add to it more. But if you put the zero enchant book that you crafted on the left, then combine it with the four enchant book on the right, then it will form a one anvil use book with all the enchantments of both. So again, that's that's the trick it literally just takes advantage of a vanilla minecraft mechanic but it's more important in skyblock because there's like 10 times the number of enchants that there are in vanilla so you have to pack them all into one sword somehow and when you just go out and make like a, a five six or even seven anvil use book you're not going to be able to add it to a weapon without spending hundreds of levels and as you could guess gaining levels in minecraft becomes exponentially more difficult as you collect them i've already gotten 50 levels just by being here while talking but getting from 50 to 100 will take approximately four times as long and getting from 100 to 200 will take something like 8 to 16 times as long it adds up really fast if you could spend a lot of small anvil uses to reset books as you go along then you'll end up spending a whole lot less in the end because it's way easier to get to 50 levels eight times than it is to get to 200 levels once. So let's continue the process here. I'm going to walk you guys through making this book with like, it'll probably end up having four or five anvil uses on it, but it won't matter because once we add it to the weapon, it'll have one anvil use. So we're gonna start by making some two anvil use, two enchantment books. Also, as you're doing this, pay attention to the levels that it will cost when you do this because sometimes it changes. As you can see, I saved three levels just by swapping the order of the books. I guess as another side note, one of the best places to get enchantment levels is in these caves here at the spawn. Crypt Ghouls give you a ton of XP. As you can see, I've gotten to like level 24 and only like eight or nine kills. So yeah, you should definitely you should definitely stick by with this place. My other strategy was using lapis armor in uh, the emerald mines, but this is way faster and it gets you combat levels. And I guess if you're gonna be here for a very long time, you could do slayer quests as well, just to you know double your efficiency at just making progress as you're doing this. Oh, and another side note, you should try and get in a mini because mega lobbies usually have way too many people in here, so. Uh, if you check in the top right there, you'll see it says my server is mini 38D. That means that um, it's not a lobby you can get to using like the lobby selector. So there's going to be a lot less people here. So this is the three anvil use book. If I go to the other one, 22 levels versus 33. So there you go. Saved a whole bunch of levels there. Now we have these two books with three anvil uses on them. Now, if we try to combine them together, it's going to cost us 57 levels that way, 55 levels this way. That's kind of pricey, not gonna lie. So what you can do to lessen this price and make a four anvil use book, what we can do, so we're going to make this book into a one anvil use book. So we're gonna go in here. Now keep in mind, the more enchantments you have, the more expensive things are going to get. So I'm going to put this experience three book away, the second one. So experience two, 
and we're gonna add it to this four anvil use book or three anvil use book and we're going to reset the levels for 57 levels now that's pricey up front but what that's gonna do is make combining this much cheaper seems costly because you need to keep spending like 50 levels 57 levels 60 levels but it's to prevent down the line getting enchantments that cost you upwards of like 200 levels so here we go we're going to combine this four enchantment three anvil use book with this one enchantment no anvil use book to form a one anvil use book with five enchantments on it now i know it's only experience two but we're saving this other experience two for later so then if i were to then combine this with this it would cost 55 levels to make a pretty dang good book so yeah we go over here now if you look right this is about half the enchantments we need for our sword if you go here and we do this process again we can make a three anvil use book with every enchantment on it so we're going to then get 55 levels combine these two books and then do the same process with the other eight books and the other experience too and we're going to form another two anvil use nine enchant book and then finally combine them together to make the big one uh, one thing i forgot to mention is that all of these books have one anvil use on them because i crafted them and when you craft books you only get the tier four version of that book so crafting two fours makes a five obviously hence why they have one anvil use each just wanted to clarify that okay so as you can see our books are ready keep in mind the one anvil use book is on the left the three anvil use book is on the right so this should give us a two anvil use book with all of this on it for 55 levels and there you go two anvil uses and that's half of our enchantments now of course we need to go here and repeat the entire process again now this might seem like a really long process but if you were to add enchantments in the the standard way which most people would think is smart which is just doing combining two 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 four four that would make this would all make a four anvil use book and if this was a four anvil use book that would make five anvil uses and then when you add that to a sword it would cost almost like 300 levels it's actually bad so uh anyway let's get some levels restart the process make the other half of our book and then see how many levels it would take to combine both halves of this book together okay so one discovery i made that was a little weird is that for some reason thunderlord in particular is extremely expensive uh so we're gonna reset the book with thunderlord on it first so again experience two three anvil use book on the right zero anvil use book on the left should make this big old book with five enchants on it with one anvil use for 84 levels uh, so if you want to make this cheaper for yourself and you don't care about thunder lord then just don't do it so there you go one anvil use book then we're going to combine it with this one another 51 levels easy peasy so let's go get those and then finally we will have two two anvil use books each with half the enchantments we need to make a total of the three anvil use all enchantment mega book now if you wanted to be even more of a mad lad to make it more resellable in the auction house you could try and make a one anvil use maxed out book there actually exists such a thing uh, someone on Twitter, the Mad Lad, actually went and made a one anvil use maxed out book that not only had every enchantment in the game, but it also had all tier 6 enchantments, all tier 4 enchantments, where it should be, you know, 5 and 3. So, like, they went out and got, like, Vampirism 6, Lifesteal 4. Actually insane. That book is probably worth, like, 10 million coins. Okay, this is a great example of why it's good to swap, because that's 90 levels. And this is 51 levels. So anyway, we're going to make the two anvil use book with the other half of the enchantments on it. There we go. Now, because of anvil use resetting, this shouldn't be as pricey as putting together, say, a five anvil use maxed out book. But it is still going to be kind of expensive. This is probably the most expensive enchantment we can do. 106. 84. 84 levels for the final enchantment to get a three anvil use maxed out book 
I don't think you're going to see that anywhere um, without using this method. Take this as a lesson. If you want to make a maxed out book and get one anvil use on your weapon, that's basically how you do it. I think what's cool about my method is that um, in using the experience two potions, I reset, I not only reset the anvil uses of one book, but upon combining the one anvil use book with the three anvil use book, I technically also reset the other book for, uh, not free, but for a discount because I'm also combining all the books together. So yeah, this is the new enchantment method. Probably the cheapest way to get a one anvil use book. It, it does take a little while Especially if you have Thunderlord. I don't know why, but that added like another 30 levels to the whole process. But I would say it's been about an hour and I've collected enough levels. Um, well, this is going to be the last run I do getting levels. But once I get 84 levels and combine the two books together, it's ready to add to a sword. Now, if, again, if you're a mad lad and you want to make it even cheaper to add to a sword, you could technically reset this book one last time make it a one anvil use maxed out book i think for the memes it would be cool to do that but uh as i said the person from twitter already went and did it i don't want to spend 200 levels to do that but uh anyway i'll get back to you guys when i could finally combine the books together to make the super book time to combine these two books to form the legendary three anvil use maxed out enchantment book Using my anvil reset method, we've created a book that only has three anvil uses on it and has every enchant we could possibly need. And because of all of that, it is cheap enough to add to a weapon without using any crazy levels of XP. So let's see what our efforts have earned us. So if I open this backpack here, you'll see that I have an ornate zombie sword. Now, let's take a look and see how much it would cost to fully enchant my ornate zombie sword with again every single enchantment with three anvil uses on the book 189 levels now that is a lot don't get me wrong but remember it's one book i mean technically you could try and reset the book but you know chances are that's not gonna happen so i mean if i went over here yeah it costs the same so 189 levels would technically make a one anvil use book or you can add it to your zombie sword. So this will be the first uh, point in the process where I would recommend that you go and buy maybe a, a Titanic experience bottle. To recap, in order to fix a book so that it doesn't cost so much. Now, the reason why this one costs so much is uh, just the sheer amount of enchantments. Even though it only has three anvil uses on it, uh, you can't avoid just how insane the amount of enchantments is, which is why it's extremely important to not enchant to begin with just buy books from the auction house craft them yourself because using an enchantment table and if there was a silk touch added in here protection uh, power anything that doesn't apply to a sword it still adds to the cost of the book then once you have them all together set them up in your ender chest or something it should be 17 books i think all of this, if you want to avoid Thunderlord and make it a little cheaper for yourself, it'd only be 16. Have them all lined up. Combine two of the books together. Combine another two books together so that you have two, two anvil use books. Combine them together to make a three anvil use book. And then take the leftover enchantment, which in my case was experience. Add the, the crafted version that has no anvil uses on the left and then add it to the four enchantment book with three anvil uses on it to form a one anvil use book with five enchantments on it. Then finally, add that to another three enchant, or four enchant three anvil use book to then form a two anvil use book with half the enchantments on it. Repeat the process with the other half and the other experience two book. Combine them all together to make a three anvil use book with everything on it. It's a complicated process, but in my opinion, I think this, I believe this is the cheapest way to get one anvil use on your sword. And even in general, even if this isn't your goal and you just have an enchantment book with a ton of levels or a ton of enchantments on it, and you want to make the process cheaper to combine it with more books or a sword or something, then that's how you do it. You take literally any enchantment or any book that has no anvil uses on it that you crafted and add it to that book and it will reset the anvil uses for you to make it cheaper later. 
So anyway, this was a complicated tutorial, so this is most useful in Skyblock because there's just so many enchantments. And uh, fun fact, you can technically, you can combine weapons together, but I don't think you want to do that because two Renans equals like many thousands of levels of xp just for fun but anyway <laughs> um i guess that's it again if you enjoyed this tutorial then make sure to leave a like especially subscribe to the channel i know a lot of youtubers are like oh 80 percent of the viewers are not subscribed well actually on my channel only 55 percent are not subscribed so i'm proud of you guys at least half of you are probably subbed let's try and get the other half subbed too see what happens but um <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.